guys and today I'm going to be doing a vlog video and this vlog video is going to be about my journey on YouTube so far. So I'm going to be thanking, I'm going to be mentioning some people and thanking them for supporting me as well. Um, but this is a vlog video about my journey so far on YouTube. Um, I've never done this as a vlog video but I wanted to do it as, you know so anyway I started out on YouTube like month, one year ago from from today and well not from today but one year ago and I was I remember being so nervous about publishing my first ever video um, because it, it, my first ever video was my Bruno Mars when I was in my uncover video and even when I look back at that I always think even when I look back at that I always think wow it's been that long you know um, and I was so nervous and so conscious about joining about making videos on YouTube myself like anybody is and I didn't I I really was so nervous I didn't know how to start off doing videos or anything like that so but I decided to do a cover video which was when I was a man and well I was nervous about posting a singing video because of what others might think or what mothers might think of me and my voice and but I just thought, you know, what the hell, I'm going to do it. So, I did my cover video, I uploaded it to YouTube, and, and, yeah, uploaded it to YouTube, and I sung it, I sung my heart out, and, yeah, it was a success. But within a few hours of me uploading it, I got really nice comments back. And I thank for that, but I also, I also got a lot of haters who wrote a lot of hate comments on my video saying I couldn't sing and all of this. And it really brought me down a level because it made, made me subconscious about doing videos and I actually genuinely cried my eyes out because I thought, well, I really just want to give up now because if that's what people really think of me and if that's what I'm going to get, then you know so I I was really upset about it and um, I started to cry and stuff and I wanted to give up and I wanted to just like say you know what I don't want to carry on posting videos on YouTube I just want to walk away because if this is how people see me then you know but I didn't but then I got posit all the positive feedback and all of the stuff that was going on inside my head just made me think that, you know, I'm not going to give up on my YouTube channel because my YouTube channel is everything to me and I would never walk away from it. And so I just said, you know what, I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to I'm not gonna let the haters put me down and I'm going to carry on doing my videos. And so since then, ever since I put my foot down and I held my head up high and I was so confident and at the time when I did that video I, my confidence and my willpower was so low I just I was so nervous so low it was my first ever video you know I was so not confident and my confidence and willpower has changed in my videos now because I am now I'm now still continue to me still continuing to make videos I'm still making videos to this day. I'm still making better videos uh, on my channel that everybody really enjoys and they're really entertaining towards them. And I'm glad. I'm so proud of how much I've come so far on my YouTube and I'm improving. I'm getting all these subscribers, getting all the support. Obviously, I'd like to thank all my friends on YouTube and all my friendly, family and friends on YouTube have helped me through so much on YouTube and 
you know, they've got me through it, you know, and, you know, I just didn't, I remember sort of that time so way back that I didn't have the confidence to just do it, but I, then when I did, I felt so relieved, and I felt like I could do, I could carry on making videos, and just not care what the haters say, you know, and, you know, I've made a lot of friends and they've become part of my family and part of my friends on YouTube and see this is all I care about on YouTube, I care about making friends and just making videos for everyone and just having fun on YouTube, I don't care about the fame and the money, um, if it comes to it I end up becoming famous and I have the money then that's fair enough because at the end of the day you've got all these YouTubers out there like PewDiePie and Jack, Jack Skept Guy and all that who you know they they want you know they want to know you for what you know before they become famous they want to know you and they want to become friends with you but then as soon as they become famous and as soon as they could become on top you know they don't want to know you they just want to focus on themselves and reaching the top and and if I ever became famous, I wouldn't just forget my friends so easily. I would carry on supporting my friends. I would carry on being friends with them. Because at the end of the day, I don't care about the fame. Or, um, to be honest, getting money on YouTube. Because it's not all about that, in my opinion. Because at the end of the day, money can't buy you friends. It can't buy you happiness. So why do people bother with that? And, you know, one of these days you have to think that they're famous now, but one of these days when they least expect it, we will all be famous one day on YouTube. We'll be all, all on the top of YouTube and they'll be jealous because we're famous and they're not. You know what I mean? Like, we're more famous than them. So you just got to think of it that way. And if you've been in the same position as me where you've had haters hating every. You've had haters and you've had hate comments. Then I understand how you feel, but you've got to realise that you can't let the haters and the trolls bring you down, because you can't let them bring you down, because at the end of the day, they really need to go get a life and, you know, stop hating you. Because they're just jealous in some respects that you you're making better videos than they are, or they just don't really have a life and they like they just like to belittle people and pick on them and hate their videos because they find it funny. Which, in my opinion, just don't let their haters get you down. Always focus on making your videos, and just keeping yourself happy, and having friends around you. You don't care what they think because they're just jealous of what you've got. They don't care. They're just little lives who don't even have a life, in my opinion. Because I've dealt with haters um, in my life on YouTube and I've had hate comments on my comments. But I used to. it used to put me down at one point. When I first started, it used to put me down. But now when someone comments something that's hateful or something that's abusive towards me, I don't give a fuck. I just say, you know what, I don't care what you think, it's not what you think, it's what other people think of my channel, so fuck off. That's all I say. I'm sorry. But, yeah, that's what I think. It's not what they think, it's what I think and what my other people think who are watching my video. I said, you actually take the time to write a comment like that and you watch and you watch my video. I said, why the fuck are you watching my video in the first place? You know, go bother somebody else. Why are you watching my video then if you're just going to write that kind of abusive comment on my channel? Because I ain't going to read it. So, yeah. My journey on YouTube has been amazing. And obviously I'll carry on making more videos and carry on making more videos and I have to say that a lot of my videos now that I've done like I've, there is a, there should, there's a lot of acting involved into it and there's a lot of confidence brought, that's brought into it really for me to actually do that and basically most of my videos is my own 
creative mind and my own ideas that I come up with to create the video and a lot of it's improvised so it's on to the point you know what I mean and I've had people like for instance like Mr Dutchie and Jeff saying I've got such a creative mind and some of my videos are really good and it's just improvised and put on to the point and I actually got a compliment off Jeff um, that my my video when I do my videos all the time it reminds I he I'm reminded whenever I do my videos sorry I'm getting tongue tied whenever I do my videos I I have the I'm like I'm a bit like Joker in my videos and I have to agree with that because I, he is my favorite villain and I have to say I am like Joker to the point I mean I'm not I have is kind of I have his crazy mind anyway because you know he is crazy and insane joker and he is my favorite villain now you know I have to say some of my videos are a bit you know I'd say I'm a bit like joker yeah so and I am crazy like him like if you if you've ever if you haven't if anybody ever met me for real did they just say I'd just do something that was out of out of mind, out of character. I'd just be like, oh, crazy and weird and random, I have to say. And just wouldn't, I'm just, at times, I'm not myself. And after I have to say, nobody is normal. We're all weird in our own ways. Nobody is normal, I have to say. I mean, we are normal, but nobody is normal. We're all weird. We all have weird minds. We're all weird. We're all crazy. So... But yeah, I couldn't, this is, I couldn't ask for, you know, better, I got so, I've got so much support on my channel and, you know, I really appreciate it and obviously I'll carry on making videos and I'll carry on making videos and making them so much better and entertaining for others and I know there's a lot of people on my channel who always say whenever I do update videos I can't wait for your next videos to come you know your upcoming videos I'm so excited you know I, I like that kind of them kind of comments and what really touches me is I like reading all of my comments on my channel you know I like reading all the comments on my videos often because they just really cheer me up like at times when if I'm down or something I'll just read them and just be like oh that's really sweet of you to say and it's really nice of you to say and I just love reading my comments on my videos because they make my day and they brighten my day and you know it's the reason why I have people who watch my videos and still are active and you know yeah um, but I obviously would like to thank some people. Obviously, I'll mention some people in this video. Um, I'd like to thank Neil. Neil Day. I haven't seen him in quite some time. I haven't spoke to him in some time. It, um, and obviously, um, I've had Tracy and stuff like that saying to me, "Oh well, they haven't, he hasn't talked to us in some time." hasn't talked to me in some time, he never really answers his, he never really answers his phone or whatever, but I'd like to thank Neil if he's watching my video if he's still watching my videos and obviously if he's watching. Um I'd like to thank him for just always supporting me and always be behind being behind me a hundred percent, even on my videos, even though I'm in my singing because I sing a lot. And whenever I've when I when I did my first ever video, and I had a lot of hate comments, I got it bring it brought me down a level. And Neil just said to me, you know what, fuck what they say. You know you're a talented singer. You don't need them putting you down. And he's always supported me a hundred percent through my singing. And I actually dedicated like one of the, this song called Maria which was by Blondie towards him because he wanted me to sing it and I actually I'd say I nailed it. It was um I sung it on a singing app and I sent it to him. But he's always been a great friend to me and 
I haven't talked to him in some time. But he's always been a great friend to me. And he's always been behind me 100% in whatever I've done. He says I'm a talented singer. I've got a really amazing voice. I'm a really nice person. And I mean, to tell you the truth, I met Neil through Jeff. Because he was one of Jeff's friends. Um, he's quite a nice guy. And uh, I would also like to thank Jeff as well. Because he's always been behind me 100%. Um, and he's always supported me and my channel. And he's, I always, every time I do a video, which is an impression video or something, I always seem to brighten his day. I always seem to make him smile. I'm so glad of that. Um, and I also would like to say I apologise for YouTube demonetising your videos. And I hope you take a stand and you fight against YouTube for doing that because it's not, it, I actually genuinely cried at your video about YouTube ruining you at the end because I thought, oh my god, hope you don't quit, but I know you're not going to. And I hope that you stand up and fight because I'm not going to say any names here, but I have to say it's out of line what these people have done because I know these people, these same very people who caused drama with us a year ages ago between my friends I've actually genuinely reported Jeff's videos on purpose because they're trying to get back at him or whatever and they've basically YouTube have demonetised it I'm not being funny but um, me and Sherilyn and some other people are going to try and fight to, get, to take the channels down eventually um, because like report the channels or take the cha channels down eventually because basically they're just using people to become their friends and then once they do they do something absolutely worse and then basically it makes the person get upset because I know Jeff was really upset when all of his videos including his wedding anniversary video his gr cutting grass video got demonetized by YouTube and I know who the individuals are who have done that and I hope you don't come across my channel and you report my channel or anybody else's because if you do, you are, you've been warned. I don't want to make threats here, but I will ruin you and I will make things worse for you if you carry on doing this because it's not right what you're doing. And um, me and everybody else, and it's, it's happened to Dutchie as well. I think he had a video up and it got took down because somebody had reported it. I know who these people are who have done it. And if they carry on, well, me and everyone are gonna take a stand and take your channels down one by one because we're not half, I want you gone for good because to be honest, it's like seeing a tumbleweed go past every time I see you and I hear you and it really makes me mad and seethe inside. It makes me burn inside. Like my whole body's just burning and boiling, blood's boiling. I just want you to gone and your channel's gone. I'm not going to mention the names because I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but their channels are going to get put down eventually because what they're doing is out of line and the drama that goes in and the stuff they're doing is out of line. And if you come across my channel, you report my channel, if you do something worse to my channel, I'll make sure I ruin your cha I make sure I ruin your channel and I take your, your channels down for good because just you watch. I don't want to make threats, but just you watch what happens to you because karma's a bitch and it will happen and karma will get you back because it always does. So whatever you're doing, it's childish and pathetic, and you're not just doing it to me. You're doing it to all my friends like Cheryl and Jeff, Dutchie, and I don't like it. Um, and it's out of line. It's getting beyond a joke. So I'd appreciate it if you stop doing that and you stop using people. And I'm surprised you even have a channel. Because when we're finished with you, you won't. Your channels will be gone. And I suggest you just leave us all alone and get on with your own life and focus on your own channel rather than messing everybody else's up. But to be honest, you won't have a channel when we're finished. So 
that's all I'm saying. Leave us all alone or, you know, leave us alone and we'll leave you alone. Because that's what we've been doing, but you keep making it worse. And to my opinion, this is another thing I'd like to express about Jeff Stream. You know, is... On Jeff stream, you were on Jeff stream the other day, and you was on his stream not to talk to him but to promote his channel. And basically, you used you use people to become your friends, just so you can then ruin them eventually. Because really, in my opinion, Jeff shouldn't be friends with the, that them people. But in my opinion, will listen. But I mean. It's old fashioned when it comes to it because he likes to be friends with everyone but these people are to be friends with in my opinion and that's why me and some of us have actually got rid of them as friends because we don't like them and we're obviously taking a stand to bring the channels down eventually because I hope YouTube do see this like I, I hope that one day YouTube see what they're doing and actually demonetize their shit and take everything down of theirs or we'll just try and find a way to take the channel down because no one should do that to my friends or anybody. That's all I'm saying anyway, it's not it's that's all I'm saying anyway. I'm not gonna put any more added to that. But, anyway, you know, um, as I was saying, it's been an incredible ride on my YouTube journey and obviously I'll carry on making videos and I'll carry on making more entertaining videos for you and if you want, if you want, if you have any suggestions for videos, upcoming videos you want me to do or any like further impression videos or singing videos or anything that you want me to do as a suggestion for a video I will try to I will try to take that suggestion on and do it and um, as far I'll try to bring that suggestion on and try to do it so you know Thank you for all the support over the years on my channel and I hope that you carry on supporting me and you carry on watching my videos and it's been an incredible journey. I've met so many friends and I've done so many videos and this is my vlog video for, for my journey on YouTube um, and obviously I hope you stick around. And you carry on watching my videos. Obviously, there'll be stay tuned for more upcoming videos that I'll be doing. Um, obviously, somewhere around this week, I will be trying to upload my next Halloween roleplay, and probably uh, try to upload my next episode to my agent series. You know, my um shield recruitment episode two. So I'll try to do that. If I get the chance and. I might do another cover video, it depends, singing video, but we will see if I can or not. So, also I'd like to point out as well that my Wicked Game cover, now, the first time I ever did that cover video, it was my idea. Now, somebody else has done a Wicked Game cover, and I don't want to mention the name. Because I don't want any, like, well, I don't want there to be any, like, differences between us. But I did, my idea, my, my idea was to do a cover, a Wicked Game cover. And obviously mine was Gemma Hainar's and his was, which is Jeff's, his was Chris Ezekiel's. And in my opinion, not to put it this on a lighter point, but in effect, I got, it's kind of, they're not copywriting me, but they kind of stole my idea because I originally wanted to do a cover video of Wicked Game, but then it made me laugh because then so many people liked his cover video over mine. Now, I don't want to take the credit because his was a good cover video of Wicked Game, 
but my cover of Wicked Game just gets passed over as a, as nothing. Like I've done a Wicked Game cover and a lot of pe only one person, including I think it's Jeff who's watched my video and the rest of the people have watched his and ignored mine. And in my opinion I don't want that. If I ever do cover videos in the future I don't want people to just like somebody else's cover video and assume it's better than mine because to say that is kind of offensive. And it makes me kind of, I mean don't get me wrong, Jeff's cover video of Wicked Game was a brilliant cover. He did his cover in like a really awesome way but I'm not having a go at him. I'm having a go at the people that pass it by as pass by my cover video of Wicked Game as not the next big thing because my I did that took, that took me ages and it, I put my so much hard work into that video and I sung it I sung my heart out and only one person watched it and that was Jeff and the rest of them just ignored it because they'd rather watch they'd rather watch somebody else do um, a cover version of Wicked Game that's much better than mine which really pisses me off and really annoys me because it's like almost like if I ever do cover videos in the future that's what will happen and I hope it doesn't happen and obviously those people who are watching who went over to watch um, Jeff's and found it more better than mine please don't ever think that way when if I ever do because I work so hard on my cover v videos and on my videos in general. I don't want people to just pass by my videos and say, well, this is a lump of rubbish because we don't want to watch this. Because that will really annoy me and it will get to the point where I'll say, well, if you think it's so rubbish, uh, my video, my cover videos, any video I ever do, please, please unsubscribe to my channel and get the fuck out. Because I don't want people, that's just so rude. In my opinion but that's what I'm, I'm gonna say I'm not, that's me being nice but you know I'm not being nasty but that's me being nice because I'm not this isn't I'm not having a go at anybody I'm not having a go at Jeff because I love Jeff to pieces I'm having a go at those people that passed my cover video by and said well somebody else is somebody else has done this as a cover video out there is better than yours because to say that is kind of offensive because it was my idea to do it in the first place. So, please don't ever think that way because it will make me seethe, it will make me angry. And I won't, and trust me, once you get on the bad side of me, I kick ass. And once you get back on the bad side of me, I kick ass. And I literally will ruin you or worse. Because you don't want to get me on the bad side the bad side of me you prefer the good side rather than the bad side so that's all i'm saying but i thank you for watching this video and for your second time to hear me out and uh, obviously i'll be doing more vlog videos this is just one of my this is a set my second vlog video but i'll be doing more vlog videos um obviously if you want a uh, if you want to check out my last vlog video about Tom Hilson and Taylor Swift and the breakup thing and how I reacted to that, please check out my other vlog video on my channel, not just this one. And um, carry on supporting me and uh, always checking out my videos. And I hope you enjoy your evening. And I hope you enjoy your evening, your Thursday evening, and you have fun. Um, I'll be seeing you very soon guys, Mwah. love you and I will see you very soon, bye, bye.